today we will be doing an epic vegan taste test that I am definitely more excited for than I should be. And I'm also really, really hungry, so I cannot wait to get into this. And I've got this big box of random vegan snacks and food that I picked up at either Whole Foods or just around Latvian biological shops. Cause yes, I am at home right now. I got here day before yesterday and it feels really odd because I'm so used to just like traveling all over the place. But yeah, shall we start? The first thing I'll be trying is this Brad's Raw Broccoli Poppers. It's got broccoli, chickpeas, sunflower seeds, etc. So let's open this up. Okay, that smells delicious. If you know um, the spice called Vegeta, it smells very similar to that. Mmm. Mm-hmm. This is really good. The smell is kind of better than the taste, but I still really like this. I give it seven broccolis. Daniel crispy fruit chips and these are mango chips and I am so excited for this because I love mangoes more than life and I've tried the coconut chips from Daniel and they're really good so they look like that orange mango slices oh my god this is so good this has got rice bran oil in this which I would prefer if it had no fat, but hmm. it's so crunchy. That's gonna be eight palm trees. I like it. This I was really skeptical to buy because I have no idea how it's gonna taste, but this is made by the brand Mighty Bee and this is coconut jerky. Doesn't that just sound super weird to you? I don't know, like I haven't had beef jerky for like six years because even when I wasn't vegan, I was never really a big fan of like packaged meat because it just kind of sounded scary to me. Okay, so it doesn't smell beefy. It smells kind of good, like barbecue sauce kind of. Um, it looks like that. It's a bit disturbing because it does actually look very like meaty. I am considering that this is coconut, but it's, I don't know, it tastes kind of Odd. I will give this five flowers. <laughs> Next up is the beginnings cabbage chips. And if you're in Latvia, then you can get them from um, Raw Garden. And I'm not sure if they sell them internationally, but I have tried them before. So this is technically a cheating thing. It's a package of cabbage that has cashews on it. So I've got like a big crunchy cabbage leaf here. Mmm. This is life. Oh my god. That's the sort of thing that you can't eat all the time because you'd get really bored because it has a very specific cabbage taste. But I haven't had them since I was last in Latvia, which is like three months or so. My heart is like singing right now. Nine out of ten cabbages. Next we're gonna try a drink and this is um, the Cosma Veda vegan chai and mint. And I used to love chai powders that um i usually bought the ones that were something like elephant drank them so much it was my favorite thing i think back in like the 11th and 12th grade i found this and i was really excited so like i made a cup here on the side i think i made it a bit too liquidy to be honest but we're gonna have to roll with that so let's see i think because i made it too liquidy like i put too little of the powder it's kind of like watery the taste is amazing. It's exactly like chai. Seven out of ten tea bags. This rating system is just like, what is this? I don't know. Next, we will be trying the Raw Bite Vanilla Berries Fruit and Nut Bite. And this is a bar that I got in Whole Foods. And actually, the logo looks really familiar to me. Comment down below because I'm pretty sure that in the US they have the same brand with the same logo but that's called differently. I was really attracted to the purple packaging so I took that. Looks kind of bad, it just looks like a, a chunk of like mixed up probably dates, berries, things like that. And it's supposed to be fully natural, it smells nice. This is not bad but um, I prefer naked bars and especially the banana one, I love the naked banana bar. Yeah, but this is definitely like quite good. I'm just not in love with it because I've had better. Six out of 10 
blueberries. When I was little, it was a thing. We went to school cafeterias and we got something called lasans here in Latvia. And it's basically like packaged little containers of flavored milk. And they had like banana, strawberry, chocolate. I used to get them like every day. I know, which is it's like now thinking back at it, I'm like, oh my goodness, I was a child. What the heck was I putting into my body? Milk is like hormonous baby calf grow food, like it's poison for humans, but yeah, I used to have that all the time. So this is Alpro Soya <laughs> chocolate milk and it just threw me back to childhood, so I decided to get it and see how it tastes and if it's anything like what I used to have. Okay, even having the straw in this little container just makes me feel like I'm 10. Oh my god, yes, yes, oh, this is so good. It has like a thickish texture which I really enjoy and very chocolatey. Oh my God, I love this. Okay, I give this nine out of 10 chocolate bars. Mm, I'm definitely finishing this after. <laughs> Last thing we have here is the Rapunzel Zagvita Kokos Happen, And it's probably meant to be something like a vegan bounty bar. At least that's what it looks like because it's just like chocolate and then coconut in the middle. It smells exactly like the bounty bars that I remember. Three little chunks like that, so it's like separate. First thing I'm gonna give a 10 to, but this is like 10 out of 10. What have I not called yet? 10 out of 10 coconuts, like, oh my God. It's exactly like bounty and it's vegan and it's like, I'm very happy right now. If you know where you can get Rapunzel, buy this. This is... So that was everything for my vegan taste test. <laughs> I really hope you guys enjoyed it. I definitely did because I love trying new vegan treats and it's always really exciting for me to see what the food scientists come up with when it comes to vegan food because I mean, the market is definitely growing. There's more and more of us every day, which makes me very happy. This just shows that you can easily be vegan and not have to give up your favorite junk foods or candy because you can get anything in vegan versions, like virtually anything at this point. Cheeses, like milks, creams, any candy, sweets, and like anything. Yes, it is a fact that it is slightly more expensive to buy like a vegan bounty bar than it is a normal bounty bar. But if you think about it, if you do want to lead a healthy lifestyle, which I think is great, then you wouldn't even eat these things every day. You would treat yourself with them sometimes. And I think then it would be worth paying a little bit more for something that's a healthy version of something unhealthy. Also, like if you don't have food like this every day, I promise you the vegan diet is like the cheapest thing you can imagine. I mean, I eat so many potatoes and like oats and porridge and bananas and things like that and that's like the cheapest thing you can find in the shop so you definitely don't have to like break your bag to be vegan which is a really great thing but we all do love our chocolate milk sometimes mm. so yeah i hope you guys had fun have a good day everyone i love every single one of your faces and see you in my next video Mwah. goodbye I'm